We are going over multiplication and division review. My learning target is I can multiply and divide whole numbers using the multiplication and division algorithm. So when we are multiplying, we're going to multiply the number in the ones place by all the top numbers. Then we are going to add a zero placeholder and multiply the numbers in the tens place by all the top numbers. Then we are gonna add both of these numbers. If your number is bigger, you would keep moving to the left with each place value. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So we have 34 times 83. So we're gonna do three times four, which is 12. We're going to carry the 1. 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 1 is 10. Then I'm going to put that 0 placeholder. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 3 is 24, plus that 3 is 27. And we are going to add these two numbers. So we have 2,822. All right, when we divide, we are going to divide the dividend by the divisor. So, dividend is the number being the number being divided by another number. The divisor is the number the div, um that is doing the dividing. Sorry, I'm having difficulty. Um the divisor is a number divided into another number. So in this case, 357 is the dividend and 7 is the divisor. We're seeing how many times 7 can go into 357. We're seeing how many groups of 7 we can make out of 357. All right, we are going to multiply the divisor by the number you got dividing, and then you are going to subtract that number from the dividend, and then bring down the next number and repeat. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so we're gonna put the divisor on the outside, the dividend on the inside, the answer to a Division problem is called the quotient. So how many times does 7 go into 35? That is 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35. So we're going to subtract that. We get 0. We bring down the 7. 7 goes into 7 one time. 7 times 1 is 7. We subtract and get a remainder of 0. So my answer is 51. So I forgot to say this, in a multiplication problem, we have factors, that's the numbers being multiplied, and then the answer to a multiplica multiplication problem is called the product. All right, we're going to do some practice problems. We have 66 times 5. 5 times 6 is 30, and carry the 3. 5 times 6 again is 30, and then adding that 3 is 33. So my answer is 330. All right, we have 178 divided by 2. We're going to put the divisor on the outside, the dividend in the inside. 2 goes into 1, 0 times. 2 goes into 17, eight times. So two times eight is 16. Subtract, we get, oops, subtract, not multiply. We get a remainder of one. We bring down that eight. Two goes into 18 nine times. Two times nine is 18. Subtract, get zero. So my answer is 89. Number three, 250 divided by 25, 25 goes into 2, 0 times, 25 goes into 25 once, 25 times 1 is 25, bring down the 0, 25 goes into 0, 0 times, 25 times 0 is 0, so my answer is 10.
72 times 36, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 7 is 42, add the 1 is 43, that 0 placeholder, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, add those together, We get 2,592. All right, we have 673 times 13. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 7 is 21. 6 times 3 is 18, add that 2 is 20, 0 placeholder, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 6 is 6, add these together, and we get 8,749. All right, 990 divided by 45. 45 goes into 9 zero times, 45 goes into 99 twice, 45 times 2 is 90, subtract and get a 9, we bring down the 0, 45 goes into 90 twice, 45 times 2 is 90, so my answer is 22. All right, Lucas went to a video game store. He has $60 to spend, and each video game was $12. How many video games did he buy? So that means we're trying to find how many times $12 goes into 60. So that is a division problem. So 60 divided by 12. So 12 doesn't go into 6. I'm going to need to try to check over here. Let's do times 5 and see if that works. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus that 1 is 60. So it goes in 5 times. 12 times 5 is 60. So that means there were 5 video games. Number seven, Aria and Zach are setting up chairs for their teacher's classroom. The teacher said she needed three rows of six. How many desks were there? So that's three groups of six, so we're multiplying. So three times six is 18, so 18 desks.